Charlie, hi. Ian, it's an honor, sir. How are you oh, doing? It's a pleasure, pleasure to meet you. Should we do our photo first and then we can oh. chat? Yes, sir. Very good. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Perfect. Enjoy Perfect. the chat. Thank Great. you. Oh, it's an honor, sir. It really is. I've been a fan of your work since, well, first movie I seen as a child was uh, Return of the Jedi. Oh, and, right. Yeah. And obviously, uh, growing up, prequels and everything, got to see you return as that. Also a fan of your Shakespeare. Uh, you playing Porter, Sleepy Hollow. I just recently mm -hmm. listened to your audio book of The Painter. Amazing, sir. Just I can't say enough good things about you. Well, that's very kind of you. Is, is there something, a specific question you'd like to ask or? So oh, I just uh, sit here and bask in what you say. Uh, well, something like that. It's a city, isn't it? <laughs> yes, sir. It's just a true honor, and I appreciate you doing this for your fans out there. Um, well, first, um, what was your uh, initial reaction when you found out you had you and Sam had to uh, use the uh, lightsabers for the fight for uh, Revenge of the Sith? Uh, yeah. Well, that was yes. I, I knew something like that was coming up. Because mm -hmm. uh, Nick Gillard, who's the fight director, as I'm sure you know, said, Ian, uh, we need to do a little saber practice. Now, no, no, no. The power's in the fingers, man. I don't, I don't do the sword stuff. And he said, I think, if, I, think, I think if you look at your script carefully, and, I, and then I have to say what script, you know, because they always arrive very late, you'll find that you do. So we did a bit of a workout. And um, he decided I wasn't going to be the next uh, Errol Flynn, who was a master swordsman, as you probably know, <laughs> yeah. and uh, let alone the next Ewan McGregor or Hayden Christensen. But, mm. but we got through it, and George wasn't too worried because all he wanted was my reaction to the upper body, you know, mainly the <laughs> face and around the eyes. So, of course, I went. Whoop. No. We'll get him right back. Okay. Oh, yeah, back. Okay. I just, the um, just, just a little bit. But we've got plenty of time. That's good. Um, so we did do the fight. You okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, and it was fine. And I I didn't poke Sam in the eye too often. And he was he was very generous about it. And he you know he he was a much better fighter than me. Surprise, surprise. And uh, so it was a great day. And that was also the day I think when they drove three big wind machines towards me and sent most of the studio dust down my throat. Not deliberately, that's just oh, what happened. No. Uh, and then I think we did the scene in the opera. So oh, it, the and I was very croaky because of that. I said to George, I'm gonna sound very croaky. And he went, great, that'll be Palpatine in transition. So there was oh, no idea. No. Because I was rather hoping he'd leave it till Monday. But we did it, and it was very concentrated, mainly thanks to the two cameramen in front of me and Hayden. And, uh, you know, it's it's become my favorite scene. I know a lot of people really like it. Yeah, it's also yes. one of the longest dialogue scenes in, in the, all the it, movies. It's it, one of the memories <laughs> of the tragedy, Darth Plagueis, the wise, and everything like that. Yeah, yeah. it's a good story, it's, that. Yeah. God, it's brilliant. You guys did amazing. You and Hayden and just... Sold out. I never would have guessed you would have had you know dust down your throat when you were doing that. Yes, I did. If you could, I, just, I can hear it. Maybe you can't. It's just a little. I know you see. That's what you meant by on the way to try. Uh, Palpatine's there, but the dust, the dusty throat is sort of there, you know. But, yes, uh, and also, somebody's mobile phone went off during one of the takes too. So it was a, <laughs> it was a trial. Yeah, but it was all right. It's the movies, you know. You take a deep breath and on you go. Oh wow. Amazing. And uh, before, like, if it does like cut out again, uh, just for like a little alarming, you know, thing for me to for motivation, if you will, to get up and get started on my day. Don't suppose I, uh, if it's not too much trouble for your voice, if I could get a Charlie. Oh, you're right. right. Whoop. I'll get right that back. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, it's the power of the dark side. There's nothing I can do about it. I try to keep my fingers well away from the keyboard. It's yeah. unnatural. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Go on before we get cut off, which would be a tragedy. Oh, yes. yes, sir. Uh, just can I get a, uh, a Charlie Rise and a Palpatine Sidious type voice if it doesn't kill your uh, throat or anything? Like no, it that. won't. No, I can do, I can do that because I, my voice is all right today. I've got lots of water. Uh, Charlie Rise, you'd like a okay. Charlie, rise. Oh, you are my hero, sir. <laughs> oh, good. I'm not, I'm your villain. <laughs> oh, no, you're still from a certain point of view. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, we're going out now. Great okay. to talk to you. It's been fun. It's an honor, sir. It truly is. All the Thank very you. best. Okay. Have a good Bye. one, Ian.